Hi, I'm Chris, Eagle Scout of Troop 47 Westwood, New Jersey. Hey, I'm Kevin, an Eagle Scout from Troop 47 in Westwood, New Jersey. And I'm Mike, an Eagle Scout from Troop 36 in Ordell, New Jersey. Today we'll be teaching you how to make a proper fire. Chris? Now you're going to need three things for fire building. You're going to need tinder, kindling, and fuel wood. You're also going to need some patience. To start out, you're going to have some tinder. Now tinder could be dry pine needles or dryer lint. If you do use dryer lint, make sure it's natural dryer lint, such as cotton, as opposed to synthetic material, following leave no trace principles. For tinder, you're going to want about one cap full of tinder in order to make the fire. Moving on to kindling, these are twigs that are no thicker than a pencil. You're going to have two capfuls of kindling to make your fire. And the last type of wood you'll need is fuel wood. Fuel wood can be as large as your wrist or as small as your finger. For fuel wood, you grab a large branch and measure one cubit, which is approximately a forearm. You measure and you break it. And this is one cubit of fuel wood. Now, when gathering fuel wood, it's vital that you gather the wood from different areas to leave no trace. Okay, guys, let's gather some wood. All right, let's go. So, one of the most important things you need before you start the fire is to follow safety procedures. First, we need a bucket of water. Chris can go and get that, right. just in case the fire gets a little out of control. Also, we're going to need to make sure the fire ring is safe. Preferably, we want to use a fire ring that's already been created, so we're not destroying the land in the area. Also, you're going to look up and check for branches that may be low hanging. Heat rises, so we don't want the fire to catch on the branches or the live plants. Many camping areas have metal fire rings, grills, and stone fireplaces. Use them whenever you can. Otherwise, select a spot of gravel, sand, or bare earth well away from trees, brushes, and dry grasses. Choose a site far enough away from rocks and boulders so they won't be blackened by smoke, and not near tree roots that could be harmed. Break away any pine needles and leaves, twigs, and anything else that might burn. Save ground cover so you can put it back when you're done with the fire. Place a pot or bucket of water close by to put out the flames if they begin to spread. Remember, heat rises, so when you arrange your fire, make sure you put the tinder on the bottom as it catches fire easily. On top of that, put a little bit of kindling, because that will burn and start catching the fuel wood on fire, and the fuel wood make sure it goes on the top. One easy way to arrange this is the teepee fire method. So let's start by putting some tinder in the fireplace. As you can see down here, Chris is going to be putting some tinder in the fireplace. We again have the dry pine needles, as well as dry marsh grass. We're only using the top of the dry marsh grass because that's what burns easily. Again, we're putting about one capful of this in the fire. We're gonna proceed by putting some kindling in. The kindling, we're going to put about two capfuls worth. Again, these are small twigs that are no thicker than a pencil length. Mike's putting them on right now. Now this fire is going to wind up looking like a teepee at the end. The teepee part is actually built by using the fuel wood. So now we're going to grab a few sticks to start the teepee and gather it around. Now, as we're building the teepee, you're going to make sure to check for the wind. Because the open side, you're going to want that side to face the wind so you can get oxygen in the fire and really get it to burn. So you can see right now, Chris and Mike set up the teepee and we're going to add some sticks around it to make sure it stands up and it really holds together. You can see how we have the teepee. On the bottom, where the tinder is, it's going to catch fire first. That's where you're going to light the match. The kindling will catch on fire next and it will start the fuel wood burning up on the top. That should be a nice, long, warm fire. So now we're going to light the fire. You can either use a lighter or matches, whichever works easier for you. Again, as this burns, you're going to notice eventually some of the fuel wood's gonna start burning up. So make sure to have a supply ready to add on as you go. You can see the flame starting to reach the fuel wood. You're going to need a hot flame for a little bit of time to really catch that fuel wood on though, because they are thicker sticks. As you can see, the fuel wood caught fire. As it burns away, you could add some more fuel wood to keep the fire going. 
Overall, this is a teepee fire lay that could be used during a camping trip.